Yo, how's it going, bros? I've been gone, but I'm back. Sorry, I didn't record for a while. I've been sick for the past few days. Ah, delicious. But I'm back now. We're going to play some more lasting, and this time, you know, try and find some more discs, try and find some more sounds to follow, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, gosh darn it, I closed it. Try it again. I'm special, Ed. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let's just, let's just play it. See what happens. And you know, I decided to be nice to you. Because, you know, this game, this isn't the most exciting game ever. Except, uh, I believe at the end, like, something happens. Not because I looked it up. But, I decided to be nice to you, and I'm going to tell you a really interesting story. While we go through our adventure together as a team, as a couple. Just kidding. So, here's, here's... Here's my terrific story. Here it goes. So, this isn't actually my story. This is more of my dad's story. But I like to tell it because it's amazing. So, my dad's chilling at work, right? He's chilling, doing whatever, up in his office. And his office is... It's like this kind of tall building. Not like really tall. But taller than the other buildings around it. So he has this elevated look, right? So, he works by right next to the Mississippi River. So, he sees this guy, and then, so there are these train tracks, and then a fence right next to them, and then the Mississippi River. So, he sees this guy walking with a bicycle inside of the fence. And this guy obviously didn't work for my dad because, you know, it's like a dangerous place to work at around trains and such. So, this guy has on shorts and flip-flops and a t-shirt. And, you know, this wasn't recently. So, it wasn't. it's not like right now where it's like all snowy and stuff. But it was still freezing cold outside. I think it was like February or something. I don't remember. It was like a year ago. So, he sees this guy. And he says, yo, who's this guy? And how did he get inside the fence? So, because obviously he couldn't have climbed it. So, he gets in his truck, and he drives down by this guy. He rolls the window down, and he starts talking to this guy. And he's like, yo, what are you doing? And the guy's like, I'm chilling. And he's like, well, what's your name, guy? And the guy's like, at first the guy muttered something that he couldn't understand. And so my dad was like, Oh, there's a the dog voice again. So my dad was like, what? And he was like, Labish. <laughs> so, his name was Labish, apparently. So he goes, well, nice to meet you, Labish. I'm Brian. So, he's chilling. They're talking. And at first, he's like a normal guy. But then he gets into this stuff about how he got here on a canoe. But it's not just any canoe. It's a sail canoe. So apparently, he tells my dad that he has a canoe with a sail on it. And it also has outriggers. So my dad's, my dad's listening to this, ooh, a disc. So my dad's buying this guy's baloney filoni. And so what he does is, he keeps talking to this guy. And this guy starts getting into some of this, like, spiritual stuff right he keeps talking about how how the police are the clouds they're always watching him the police are the clouds the police are the clouds and the police are always watching him and they're always after him so my dad's like okay so so he leaves him alone and he calls he calls security to come pick this guy up right so security comes down there and they call him back Call him in his office like two minutes later. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. And they're like, Brian, he's gone. 
He's like, what do you mean he's gone? They're like, he's gone. And when he left, he had his bike and an empty backpack. And when he came back, so, well, I'm getting ahead of myself here. So, they call the police. The police show up, and the police are like, yeah, we know about this guy. And they're like, you do? And they're like, they're like, yeah. He's known as, he's, he apparently was like some insane, like mentally unstable guy. So, what happens is, doo -doo -doo, it, what happens is, um, he like, he has a reputation with these guys. And, so, I was, I'm sorry, I also forgot to mention that when he was talking to my dad, he told him that he was planning to sail from, that he came from. Rock Falls, which is a city like 40 minutes away by car, he said that he canoed here, and then he's gonna go to Tennessee, and he's gonna go live in the wilderness, off the grid, anywhere. So, he's gonna sail down the Mississippi from northern Illinois to Tennessee and live in the woods, right? Okay, so fast forward, police here tell him about how he's like some mental guy like not not everything is right on the upstairs so then so then they're looking for him and they see him and his backpack is full so they go I don't remember what exactly happened but for some reason they found the place in the fence where it got in and he had like clipped holes with wire clippers and gotten in and right next to the hole sure enough there was the sail canoe exactly as he described it without riggers and a sail and everything and in this canoe were two buckets and the guys were like what's in the buckets and so they're like yo guys Guys, go with the buckets, I dare you. They're like, no, I'm not gonna go open no buckets. It's like, oh no, I'm go 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 open the buckets. So then they're turning to the police and they're like, hey, you go open the buckets. And it was like, can't do that. We don't have a warrant because they're lame police. So eventually, for some reason, however this works, my dad goes home. They still, Labish is still on the loose. So. <laughs> Right? As my dad is packing up, you know, he's gathering up his papers, doing whatever, he's going home. He sees Labish outside of his window, in his canoe, <laughs> on the river, sailing, or rowing, against the current, so that he's literally not moving anywhere. So then, my dad goes <laughs> out there, he starts recording this dude. And this dude is like, he's singing. He's singing songs, talking to his canoe, doing whatever. Like, these are like, he's like, come on, boys, we can do it. And so then, so eventually, my dad, my dad leaves and goes home. <laughs> Comes home, tells me this story, right? So next thing I know, he comes home the next day. Labish has taken his canoe instead of going against the current he's gone about 100 feet to the right and gotten on one of these small islands that's in uh in this river that's like it's probably like one fourth of a mile away from like my dad's office you know very visible this isn't it's not a big mystery to see it right so Labish has taken his self and he has gone across the river or gone to the small island and spent the night on this island. That being said, he gets up in the morning and he starts singing again and his bike is on the island. So who knows? <laughs> How do you got the bike there? And then he's taking a bath in this freezing cold water. He's just doing labish. Just doing labish things. And so then, then, so he's chilling, 
And then he starts rowing again, right? Starts rowing down the river. And my dad, he just rowed away. And my dad never saw him again. But to this day, I don't think I'll ever forget Labish. So, if you want to hear more stories, let me know in the comments. And, you know, oopsie daisy, I accidentally closed out of the game too early. You know, I really wanted to jump scare to this video. You know, I wanted to do whatever, but it just didn't happen. This game is actually pretty disappointing. <sighs> Delicious. So, I don't think I'll play it anymore, but I'm glad to get that story in. So, if you guys want to hear more stories... Let me know. Just just comment or like hit me up on the DMs or whatever. Just let me know. I'll, I have more stories to tell. That's one of the more interesting ones. But tell me more stories you want to hear. Tell me if you want to hear more stories and I'll tell them. Because it's fun. Gotta keep life interesting. So I guess this is it for me. It's been story time with Hyena. So peace out homie bros. Yeah.